Yes, yes, people, welcome back to another video, and this is the Manchester City News Roundup. Uh, a bit early one today, we thought I'd do the extra late show, save that one for a bit. I mean, there's not too much news floating about right now, but we'll have uh, this one as like a six o'clock one. Uh, we're going to bring it up, uh, bringing back a lot more live streams and stuff over the next week. There's a lot to go through. Uh, we've got this run up going up, you know what I mean? And it's time to heat up. Next week is D Day, you know what I mean? We've got midweek next week against Spurs. That is the point. That's where it all comes to head, man. So that's 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 the point where I'm I'm, I'm sweating my back out. But um, this week we've still got big things coming up. Uh, we're going to potentially get a big Steve show in this week. Next week we've got the recording of Hot Ones episode two. Um, this weekend we've got uh, obviously Manchester City play Fulham on Saturday, and also we've got United and Arsenal play against each other on Sunday, which could be big. Uh, so we're going to do streams for all those things. Uh, so make sure you subscribed. We notification bell turned on. There's a lot of things coming this week. Ollie is back off holiday as well, so we're getting FIFA. FIFA is going to be in tomorrow. That's Thursday night, probably around seven o'clock, something like that. Uh, you'll find me and Ollie playing a bit of FIFA together in that, and we'll get the extra time podcast recorded as well ahead of uh, one of the final weekends um, of the Premier League. Um, let's go straight into it. As you can see right next to me, this this is the away shirt. N straight away, comment a lot. Comment on this video right now. Like it or hate it. You know what I mean? Hated a little bit on the dogs on top. This so, this is sick. This is this is so sick. Now, if, if people can cast their mind back to when we did our little um, away kit concept at first, um, we didn't really get how they were going to do the stripes unless they were going to cut the block out where the Etihad logo is. But the leaks that we've seen didn't have that. That's why I was like, it's not realistic. It's not realistic. They have to cut it out like the brother one. And look what they've done. Look, the the, the perfect for the sponsor. Paying for the badge. Oh, man. Run this. Run this. This will outsell anything. Any kit we've ever had. This could outsell the Colin Bell kit. I'm telling you. This will be all over. That's an instant classic. Instantly for me. Foden 47 on the back of that, mate. Tick. Job done. Uh, they've also got the box cut out on the back of it as well for the number. Mate, what a kit. What a kit. Now, I can't say where I, where I, I can confirm this is exactly the kit or whatever it is, but when you see a league like this, I'm telling you it's it. This is this is it. This is it. Believe, believe me, this is the kit. I'd be fuming if it's not, but I, I don't need to even get to that because this is the kit. Now, we do have some um, dates as well for this. So... This shirt is uh, it's going to be launched in July slash early August. And I think that was very similar to the red and black kit. I think that kind of followed a similar pattern when we did the red and black kit. That came out um, when we was on tour. Um, so it could have been around the same time. I think we played Bayern Munich in it first. Might have not been Bayern Munich, actually. It might have been one of the, the one before that. Anyway, um, we, it was around that time that where, where this kit came out. Um, so I, I'm, I'm buzzing for it. I'm buzzing for it. What a kit. What a kit. Um, next up, uh, a little bit of congratulations um, to uh, uh, Felix Demetrio, Jaden Sancho and Jamie Bino gittins all getting to the Champions League final. Now, you sat there thinking, missed opportunity. Because I kind of feel, and obviously there's massive respect to Dortmund to get into the final and that obviously done bits, beat PSG, uh, which to be honest wasn't really much, that much of a surprise to me because PSG always full the toys out the pram, never really do too well. In the Champions League, their, their, their Champions League mission still continues and obviously they're going to lose Mbappe this year, so it ain't looking good bread for them, but um, it just feels like if we could have been a City Dortmund final, you're going to back us so much. You're going to back us so much. Now, obviously, you have to give all respect to every team that gets into that position. Uh, but, you know what I mean? We would have definitely been the favoured side. Um, but, obviously, we'd have still had to, even if we beat Real Madrid, we'd have still had to beat uh, Bayern Munich and stuff. And that is the other semi-final, which is on tonight. Unfortunately, not going to be able to do a live watch on that. I really wanted to watch it as well because it's the... it's, uh, it's gonna, I'm hoping that's going to be a good game as well. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'm... Um, Looking forward to seeing who is in that final. We will have a live watch long of the final as well. Um, next up, uh, that was just a bit of a thanks thing. Liam Delap, the one, the, the one who we all forget about nowadays because he never really got his, uh, he never really got his, his, his chance at City. I remember he came on against Leicester when he was getting beat five one. I think he hit the, hit the crossbar in that game, but even still, I think he played, he played. 
Bournemouth or West Ham somewhere along the line. I don't know. He, um, we all kind of seen the vision of what Erling, uh, of what Liam Delap could have been. But as soon as we were interested in Erling Haaland, I knew from the off that Liam Delap's time at City was done because, you know what I mean, Erling Haaland is that kind of striker. You've got Erling Haaland in there, Julian Alvarez in there. There was just no room for him or room for him to get any game time. And in the season where we potentially could have offered him a bit of uh, a bit of time in the first 11, he got injured. He got like quite a big injury, didn't he? So unfortunate for him, uh, but... He is um, a City are now looking to sell him. Uh, so this summer, is this season he's got um, eight goals and two assists in 32 appearances. City are looking at that and they're saying, right, we want around £10 million for him. We know he's a talent um, and he can do bits now. Whether or not um, he gets bought by Hull, um, I'm not sure. That might be a bit of a steep price. But £10 million for Liam Delap. Are we asking for too much there, given that he's barely ever played for City? Or are we saying, yeah, that's a fair price? Some people might be saying, no, it's not a fair price. Because I, I know the amount of people that backed Liam Delap. I remember way back when on the early City Extra Streams, um, we were calling for Liam Delap to start all the time. All the time. And then it got to a point where we just we just couldn't even put him in our Pinterest 11s because it was never going to happen. And it never did. Um, right, next up, uh, some FA Cup news. And this man, Andy Madley, he's going to be refereeing the City versus United FA Cup final. And Michael Oliver um, will be on VAR. So, I'm never one I'm never one of these people who look too much into referees. Um, never really look at it as a thing. I always think the game is a game of the day. And I think all referees can just be as bad as each other. Um, but, obviously, they do have the personalities. And some people do prefer ones. Some people hate some ones. So, again, let me know in the comments below. Andy Madley and Michael Oliver, do you know what I mean? How, <laughs> how is that partnership uh, How is that partnership doing for you? Because, um, like I say, I'm not, I'm not too fussed. I feel like we're beat United on the day. Don't think they're, they're, they're too good this season. Um, but, yeah, I think, um, I, think I, I wouldn't look too much into it. Hopefully there's no VAM like, disaster classes going on. Uh, next is Kyle Walker. This man. Now, strange season for Kyle Walker. Very strange season. Um, got made captain. Signed it, obviously, it stayed. He had a lot of talks about going to Bayern Munich earlier on. Um, there was a lot of rumours that everything was agreed and maybe confirmed agreed. Uh, basically, personal terms and things like that were all lined up for him to go to Bayern Munich. However, sit, I think he had a sit-down meal with Pep and a little bit of a, a meeting. And we convinced him to stay at City and obviously ended up getting the captain's armband and his captain does for, for, for this season, even with the likes of Kevin De Bruyne and stuff coming back. Now, that's been something that's been a bit um, of a controversial thing for some people, especially with the things going on with um, his personal life. Um, however, I, I was I, I was all right with it. I was all right with it. It's, it doesn't really strike. Obviously, they see more than us. How, how obviously the leadership team is. Um, for me, I, I probably want like a Diaz or a, or a Kevin De Bruyne or a Rodri or something like that. But I'm fine for the leadership team to be what it is. And obviously, they're the ones that choose the captains. And if that's the way that they want to do it, that's the way that they want to do it. But um, Kyle Walker is considering a switch now to Saudi. Now he's been getting a little bit of hate from City fans this season. He has he has he has had some stinkers. He's had some good performances. He's had some stinkers. It's been a bit of a mixed bag for him this season. It's not been his most consistent year or his best year by any stretch of the imagination. But apparently he's been talking to Riyad Mahrez, out of all people. So obviously we know that he's gone over. So he's been speaking to him and asking him about life over there. And he's considering it. This is obviously rumours. Uh, he's considering it, the idea of going over there. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what offers do come in for him. But there's also the side thing of Bayern Munich apparently already uh, also Already, also already interested. No, they're they're also interested uh, in getting Kyle Walker, even though he kind of ejected them in summer. Um, this summer, that they're thinking, yep, yeah, we'll go in again for him. Maybe keep Harry Kane happy a little bit. But let me know, would you sell Kyle Walker or keep Kyle Walker? Because for me, I'm I'm full on keep Kyle Walker, and people might think that's that's a terrible take or whatever it is, but. He has been the best right back for us in a long time, but I do think it's crucial for the next right back to come in to have Kyle Walker there, even if Kyle Walker does start to play a little bit less game time. I think um, having him there would help him. He, don't forget, he's one of our senior players. So uh, having him there, helping this next right back come through and how to play in the system and how we play. Like If we, was, if we were, for, for example, to go sign a Jeremy Frimpong, I think it'd be good for him to have Kyle Walker there helping him out in that role. Now, 
whether or not that's the thing that Kyle wants, wants to do. Maybe he wants to just go and play as much game time as possible and isn't willing to take that role. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Kyle Walker to Saudi, obviously, potentially, potentially a thing this summer. And then um, this this is um, a weird one. Uh, Pep Guardiola. There's a... Um, there's a lot of talk on Pep's future and things like that, but fortunately for us, I mean, he's running out of his contract, basically, isn't he? At the end of this year, I think he's got a year left. He goes until 2025, so <laughs> that's that's where... That's the, the end of the 2025 season. It could be Pep's last. I'd love it if you'd sign the new contract. There's been rumours about that not happening. Um, so it's nice to hear now from inside like Pep's camp, apparently... Uh, when questioned about Pep Guardiola's future and stuff, they've insisted that he is very happy at Manchester City. Now, people have been throwing Bayern Munich's hat in there again because Pep has a um, he has an apartment still in Bayern Munich. He, has a, 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 he still has an apartment in Germany. So I think people are getting a little bit excited, a little bit gassed, thinking, oh, he still has that. Why does he have that? Is he open to a return at some point? Um not sure why he keeps that. Maybe, do you know what I mean? Holiday homes all over the gaff. The guy is on like 30 million pound a year. He probably doesn't even realise it's coming out of his account. Um, but he still has that apartment. Um, I don't see him going to Bayern Munich. Like They've said basically the inside information from his camp have said it's completely off the cards, the idea of him going back to Bayern Munich. He does hold that club Dave in his heart. However, it's not a thing. It's not a thing that he, he wants to go on from Manchester City, which I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for because... I still hold out hope that he signs a new deal. If he doesn't sign a new deal, then it's meltdown. We've got to look at new managers and see where we go because I ain't ready for that yet. I ain't ready for that. I love Pep too much to to, to let him go. But uh, we've got another year yet. And, you know I mean, I'm not sweating. I'm not sweating yet, but I think maybe during the summer we'll find out on his intentions because I think... oh, it's a, then again, even there, it's hard signing players if, if your managers are just going to leave. So I think we do need to know his intentions at some point of whether he does want to renew or not because we're going to have to plan for the future and we're going to have to look at new managers as soon as possible. We don't want to find ourselves in a, in a position like... I don't want a year like... This, this year we clop. I don't, I don't want that. Do you know what I mean? When he, he just announces at some point during the season, right, that's it, my time's up, and then it's all freaking out about who we go and get. Um... I wouldn't like that. I'd like a little bit of a structure to it, but obviously that that's it's never a guaranteed. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much a roundup of all your city news. I'm, I, I thought I'd do a video today, th like keep this like this. I was gonna do a stream of this exact news and and a video as well, but I did I didn't think it really fit. Uh, but what I'm gonna what I am gonna do in these kind of videos, I'm always gonna leave you with one question, like, and then you can all answer that in the comment section below, and then we'll pick. Obviously, you got to give your reasons and that, but in, maybe in some of them we'll flash the next comment up on the next one of who gets top comment and stuff. But this one will be a difficult one. But Sergio Aguero was asked uh, recently, I think it was by the club as well, so that, that's pretty big. Uh, Sergio Aguero was asked recently, buy, I uh, know, sell, bench, start. Sell, bench, keep. Sell, bench, start. Something like that. Sell, bench, start. We'll go with that one. Start, bench, sell. There we go. We got it right. You know, fourth time lucky. Start, bench, sell. Phil Foden, Kevin O'Brien, David Silva. That there is absolutely disgusting and one of the worst things I've ever heard because I love all three of them players to death, man. Uh, so start, bench, sell. Phil Foden, Kevin O'Brien, David Silva. David, uh, uh, Sergio Aguero picked Phil Foden out the free to, to, to start, which is pretty wild. Uh, so you let us know. Start, bench, sell. Foden, Kevin De Bruyne, David Silva. Let me know in the comment section uh, below. Hit like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We'll be back tomorrow with some more live streams and some more content. Obviously, FIFA as well tomorrow night. So make sure you, you get your notification bell turned on. We're live around 7 o'clock for that. And uh, yeah, new episode of Hot Ones coming soon. We've got the big weekend uh, ahead of us. Uh, we'll get some previews out there. Maybe an opposition fan preview if we can get some Fulham fans on. Uh, but yeah, big up to everyone, and I'll uh, see you next one. See you in a bit.